Hey guys, this is J2800 here with a how-to on one of my latest mocks, Mammoth. So, I wanted to try something a little different. You, if For anyone who's watched my previous how-tos, you'll know I don't usually talk. Well, I remember a long while ago, Mania Mac, here I am talking about Mania Mac again. His last how-to, which had Zeris and Jorda, I believe, he decided to talk about through it, uh, give his own thoughts on things, about some of the build process, and other stuff. So I wanted to do something different, like, so you guys can get inside my head. Uh, maybe you give a few updates as well. Um, if you guys enjoy this style of how-to videos, uh, please let me know in the comments. Or if you absolutely hate this, then or find it too distracting, then let me know as well. And I'll use that feedback to know if I should continue like this, or just stick with how I've been doing things before. Um, yeah. Uh, this is actually the second time I've recorded this. The first time I uh, turned off the uh, audio of the laptop just so I can concentrate on more, but uh, nope, it, it also kind of dampened my audio, and also for some reason it cut the uh, the audio recorded short. I, I really don't know why, but anyway, a lot of this mock is. Filling things in, uh, Mammoth herself is a very, very heavy set mock, a very plump, so very extra thick. So you gotta fill out the space, or this it's gonna be very gappy. Uh, I, um, I've been trying to improve as a mock maker, and trying to avoid gaps is one aspect I'm desperately trying to get better at to make sure that there is, there are a few gaps to get between them. I uh. uh this is not my first time doing a fatter mock. The f um, I want to say my first time with Garglocks, but I think before I started my YouTube channel, I tried making a Hippo mock. I don't think it was that good, to be honest. I took it apart. Maybe I'll try revisiting it, but not likely. But I do think this is a better attempt at trying to uh, doing a heavy set mock. Uh, not many people uh, have tried such a thing. It was. I know Elyra, uh, she made a famine, which is very ironic, a very ironic name, I think that was the point. Yeah. And there's the booty. Yeah, uh, because fat people have big butts. Okay, I don't know about all fat people, I mean, weight is distributed differently be depending on the pe person. Uh, I think it's like jeans, it's like apple and pear shape, so um, fat may go more towards the gut, <laughs> right, what we're building right here, the butt, the limbs, the face, the butt, the hips, the breasts even, yeah. I apologize if um, it's a bit difficult to tell where some of the, uh, some of the, some, where some of the, uh, plugging the holes are supposed to go in, I try to be clear but with so much armor and, and how deep things can get, it's a bit more difficult but I trust that you guys will be able to figure it out, if you're not, if not, Try to comment, comment below and I'll try to help out. It's gonna be a bit difficult, but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, um, while I'm here, uh, I might as well say this might be my last video for a little while. I have about a little less than a month and a half left for uh, at my university. I'll be graduating in late March, early June. So I gotta focus my time on that and also try to find a job because I need money, and I don't want to run out of money. And with my university, how it's four years in, into a four years into about, about two years, it doesn't really afford me to work part time like when I like um like how I was when I was back in my old college when I was studying in game design and video production. I actually got an associate's in video production, game design. Uh, I, I think it was the timing. Not that I failed. I actually did pretty well, but. Besides, I'm studying game design at my university, so I might as well get the full deal here. And I think I learned more from here. Although uh, there are stuff that I learned exclusively at uh, at my old college, Cecil College. So that was good too. Yeah, this body is very complex. It's probably one of the more complex bodies I've built. I've been trying to go for more complex builds. I studied and copied a few. Uh, Shiverburn's body is mostly based upon Tyla. I think that's how you pronounce it from Kyla Nuva. I've uh, Done a few body builds from Wombat Combat Pictures. I want to try do uh, eventually. I want to try doing more of my own custom builds, like not just a Nika style builds, because there's a lot of a Nika style um, torsos and that kind of stuff in this build. Something a bit more unique. I want to try to go for that, if possible. 
Yeah, here we go, filling in, and it's a bit difficult to tell, but uh, look for the empty hole here. Excuse me. And with that, the body is finally done. That uh, that took a little long while, and now we come to the legs. You may remember back on my last countdown, uh, uh no, not my last countdown, I, uh, uh, the one before that, my top 12 years of Biotube, I, I mentioned that you don't really see Mata bodies be Mata slash Nuba bodies really being used nowadays. It's kind of become obsolete in mock making, in my opinion. But uh, you notice that I've been I use it as fee. I think I used it for another mock and uh, for a few other mocks. And in that case, I think there are some uses that can be used. Yeah. So every piece could have a use. It's just much harder to use some pieces over others. Like, uh, like the Mighty Bodies, and does anybody remember Ben 10? Like, those, uh, those torsos, and there was a lot, and there was a good, those torsos, I couldn't really, I don't know if many people could use that in mocks that effectively. I mean, I'm sure there's some ways, but it would be much harder to use than others. If, if anybody can prove me wrong, then please, prove me wrong in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to see your perspective. So now we come to the arms and her tusk hooks. For those who don't know, Mammoth is very much inspired by Roadhog from Overwatch. I like the game, I don't think I'd love it though. Uh, I probably should find more fun to play with on my PS4 or something. I, I, I'm more of a single player kind of guy, admittedly. I was also planning on making a, a, um, a Junkrat inspired character, but that never came to fruition. Maybe I will in the future, but... Probably not likely. There are other mocks I plan to make in the future. I think there are other, spe other aspects from Roadhog that I took inspiration from, not just the idea behind her, like a big person who, who uses throwing hooks. But like Roadhog, she's actually kind of quiet, doesn't really talk much. It's mostly just stares and bio language. She's out of the three dollars of the hunt, a minus Ma, she's. Probably the smartest. Shiverbird's probably the leader, but she's probably the most intelligent. Uh, there's a and there was a car. I apologize if you guys heard that. Yeah, that's what I do for trying to do unscripted. But yeah, it might be a bit difficult to try to do with like time uh, in real time if you're trying to do scripted dialogue. I don't know. Like I said, if you enjoy this type of format, please let me know in the comments. If not. We'll also leave it in the comments. Uh, you guys decide. I don't really do how-to videos all that much. Yeah, I'm not sure if I brought it up, but if you really don't, just don't like how I'm doing this, then put it on mute and put up back your music as you're watching this. And there we go, the arms. And now, yes, it says helmet. Uh, yeah, so that actually isn't a real head. Uh... I believe this part was inspired by, was, this is a build for this first part, was done by Dr. Scorpion X for one of his combiners. What happened to that guy? I hope nothing bad happened to him, like he passed away. If he did, then may he rest in peace, but it'd be kind of a shame. I wish he'd come back. He did some great stuff. Uh, I remember when I was doing my top 10 favorite BioTubers, I joked that he, I, 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 I mentioned that I can't, couldn't wait what he did with the 2006 set, and I expected Beast Wars, especially with the creatures, but that never happened. Oh well, I guess. Anyway, back to the helmet. I, I guess it, it's meant more for an intimidation factor. Like, you're already seeing this big, big hulking lady, so seeing those beady red eyes and those that samurai-like helmet is probably going to scare the pants off a few people if Bionicles wore pants. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe you could count the armor, but whatever. If uh, I might try to build a real head for her in the future, but I don't know if what that might look like. I ex I guess it might be what a bionicle equivalent of a cute fat girl, kind of plump cheeks, maybe a scar, because uh, she fights a lot. But I I don't know. There are other mocks I want to try to do in the future. Um, some of the ones I have in mind are. Um, uh, are like a brother or sister duo who run a bar, kind of like the every people who somehow get roped in this adventure. 
kind of a ringmaster style character. I remember if you follow me on DeviantArt, it's my my DeviantArt name is the same as my YouTube name. You may reckon you may remember that I made a sky drew up a Skylanders OC, but it's basically a ringtail lemur that's also a ringmaster. Ringmaster, haha. <laughs> yeah. So I might try to do something like her, and then. Have you heard of the Dulahan? I didn't hear about my the creature until I watched Kitsune Hawk's video on it. But basically, it's the Irish Grim Reaper, and what the hell is Horseman is based off of? It's quite cool. I want to try to do something like that, like make it a headless centaur. That's gonna be my interpretation. I have creepy lore and struggle for it. But anyway, yeah, this this mock is done. Yeah, so that's everything you need to know to build. I mean, I hope that's all you need to know. I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. I am playing on, uh, this is great, uh, uh, there's a, there's a humble bundle for a pr video editing program called Sony Vegas, so I hope to try to buy that and try it, because Premiere Element is good, but Premiere Pro requires a subscription, and I don't have, and I don't think I edit enough to make the subscription worth it, so I want to try Pro, uh, Vegas Pro, because I think it might have more to it that I can try to utilize. Anyway, I think that's all I want to say. The video is running out, so I might as well end here. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon. Godspeed.